Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. You should set the defaults used for your customer statements and invoices before sending either. You can access this information by choosing Maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to Default Information, and then choosing Statements slash Invoices. This will bring up the Statement slash Invoice Defaults window, where you can change these settings before sending out either your customer invoices or your statements. Within this window, there are two tabs, Statement Print Options and Dunning Messages. On the Statement Print Options tab, just select the options that must be met for a customer to receive a statement. So, for example, you can print statements for customer accounts with any or all of these criteria. And for any criteria that you check, make sure that you enter in whatever additional criteria might be specified, such as balances of at least, and then the dollar amount that you would need to enter. And also, in addition to the above options, when should you print statements with negative balances and zero balances? You can also set a default statement type. And you can also make sure that you check the checkbox to print your company's name, address, phone, and fax number on your invoices and statements. Now on the Dunning Messages tab, you can enter Dunning Messages to print on statements and invoices. You can enter one Dunning message for each category listed. So if a customer has multiple overdue invoices, Peachtree prints the Dunning message applicable to the oldest overdue invoice. Once you've set the statements, just make sure you click the OK button to apply them. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.